Hello guys, and now I'm back after after two weeks. I am back. I would like to explain why my back has been very painful the past few days and years. Was it the past few days and years? <laughs> Hello guys and how are you? I hope you're doing well today. I'm sorry I wasn't able to upload any videos last week and the, the week before last week because I've been busy and uh, my back has been painful so I needed to take some rest. Since we're at it, why not talk about back pain? I've been trying to film this for quite some time now. But there have been lots of mishaps along the way. <laughs> Video problems, audio problems, script problems. So today, I think this is gonna be great. My husband has been very, very, very helpful. Say hi. Hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> so he's helped me with the recording now. And today we're going to talk about back pain. You might be thinking, that back pain lang naman yan. so why give it an episode but actually if you might not know according to a lab stat update last 2018 back pain is the leading cause of occupational diseases in offices and businesses and it's usually common in call centers those who are doing manual labor and administrative work that require long periods of sitting so it's really, really bad. Ika nga, they say, sitting is the new smoking. So let's get on to it. So before anything else, we have to know what structures in your back that is usually affected when you have back pain. So number one is the large muscles. They're the ones that support your back actually. And number two, is the spinal nerves that pass through your spinal canal and give supply to other parts of your body. So the spinal nerves are actually the ones that control your body or that your brain send signals from your brain to your muscles for them to you know activate. Ganyan. And third is the facet joints that connect the vertebrae along the back of your spine. So, kailangan niya ng connectors para, you know, mag-hold together yung body mo. Number four, the intervertebral discs that serve as shock absorption structures in your body. So that you can run, you can like do karate, whatever. So when one of more of these structures are damaged or irritated or inflamed, this is gonna cause you back pain. So whether that's normal back pain, that's herniated back pain, muscle fatigue, disc herniations, or bulges, back pain pa rin yan. The question is, how severe are they? So, we're going to talk about the kind of pain. There are actually three kinds of back pain according to spine health. First is the actual pain. Second is the referred pain. And third is the radicular pain. Now let's get on to what these types of pain are so that you'll be acquainted with it. One is the actual pain or the mechanical pain. This pain is usually localized or let's say it stays in one area or one region in your body. For example, shoulder pain. That type of pain, if you have an actual pain, it stays in your shoulder. On your shoulder? Choose the best answer. <laughs> This type of pain can be described through its intensity, like it's dull or sharp, or frequency, if, it's, if it comes and goes, constant or throbbing. This is common in muscle pains or tears in your muscles. Two, referred pain. So referred pain is usually dull and achy. So it's like there, but you can, it's negligible. Kumbaga. So it tends to move around and um, sometimes it differs in intensity. 
So you feel referred pain when a part of your body is affecting it. For example, in my case, I'm using my case because I can't think of any. I feel referred pain in my legs or in my thighs because of my herniated disc. So something is actually affecting that part to be painful. I hope I'm making sense. So that's referred pain, guys. Third is the ridiculous pain, or it's also called as the electric-like pain or pain that that's like an electric shock, um, searing pain, or radiculopathy. This kind of pain is often traceable. You can trace it with your marker. You can't describe the pain, but it's somewhat. You can feel it's hot but it's, it runs through a line. This kind of pain is actually, it runs along the path of the nerve. That's why you can trace it. You can say that when you have this kind of pain, something is being impinged, usually a nerve, or something is inflamed and you should have it checked. Fourth is numbness or tingling sensation. Have you experienced sitting down um, doing an Indian squat for like an hour, not doing anything within that period, like you're just doing the Indian squat. When you start standing up, you can feel that pain, and that's the numbing, numbing sensation or the tingling sensation. That's what you feel, or that's what people with herniated discs feel most of the time. When you have this, you run straight to the ER or have yourself checked by a doctor. So, I would need to see a doctor. What should I expect and what should I do? First, I would really suggest that I would see or research a good doctor in your area. Maybe around three doctors. So that you already have doctors lined up in case you need a second opinion. Or when you feel like the first doctor you didn't like the way he handled you, you have at least three doctors. It will save you time and money. When you actually see the doctor, he may be he or she may give you an order to get an X-ray done or an MRI done. An X-ray done in the Philippines, especially here in Cebu, usually costs around one thousand to five thousand, depending on the procedure done for you. And MRIs here in Cebu might cost around roughly ten thousand to thirty thousand, depending on which part. Of the body and the type of procedure. In my case, I asked my doctor to give me a spine survey, so it's quite pricey. Not quite pricey, it's, it is pricey. I paid around 18,000 for the lumbar scan and the spine survey. Spine survey mean they will have to check your entire spine, so at least they would know, or we would know, or you would know, what you have. So at least for me, I, that's when I knew, or when, that's when I confirmed that I have two slip discs in my cervical spine. That's on the neck. So after you get your results, you go back to your doctor and have it assessed. Most probably, your doctor will advise you to see a, a PT or a physical therapist or a chiropractor, depending if you have a mechanical problem or actually it depends on the doctor. In my case, for those people with, with um, herniated discs, they might or the doctor might order you to go and see a PT. So I went to Cebu Rehab Medics. I'll link their page down below. And I'll also, maybe I'll also link other centers or PT centers. So when you feel you need to see someone, you can just check the link down below and maybe see if it works for you or if it works for your condition also your doctor might prescribe you pain meds depending on the pain that you're currently having so if you're really really in pain he might give you non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or the NSAIDs muscle relaxants or Skeletal muscle relaxants like myonal 
not sure with the other brands or really what, what, what the names are. And pregabalin, um, it's a drug used for nerves. So what if I can go to the doctor for now, since it's COVID time, what can I possibly do? So according to medical news today, the RICE method is one of the best treatments, home treatments to deal with pain. So RICE method actually stands for rest, applying of ice, compression, and elevation. So rest is usually to avoid injury or re-injuring the painful part. Applying ice is to numb the pain or numb the part where it's painful and to avoid inflammation also. Third is applying compression to the part to give support. So in the cases for those people with back pain, so that you will not re-injure that part also. You will have to apply compression to that part. So to give support. And the last is elevation. Elevation is to reduce swelling. So those are the four methods that you have to do. Aside from that, if you really can't bear the pain, you can drink OTC pain meds. Examples. Um, Advil, methanamic acid, alaxan, and I'm not sure with the others. If you know more pain meds, please comment down below so that others will also read it. And just be sure not to over drink it because it may cause an upset stomach and you have to eat because it's gonna make cut cut your stomach aside from drinking pain meds you can also apply liniment creams or liniment oils like panyawan pao de arco omega tiger balm salon pass patches what else <laughs> if you know more brands of pain or liniment oils please do comment down below i forgot one thing if you do see a physician you can also ask your physician if ketoprofen is good for you ketoprofen is a topical gel like ointment that is applied to the part where it's painful so especially those with nerve pain it can help you a lot you can do this for two days or more more or less a week if the pain doesn't subside or the pain comes back again after a month and it's the same pain, you really need to see a physician. And for lastly, this is not, I'm not a doctor. I'm just someone who went through the pain and maybe it could help you or your family who's going through the same thing. So I guess this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Till the next video. Bye. Bye.